For more on this, we're joined by former Ambassador Shahzad Chaudhary with us. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Uh, first question, the West has expressed deep concerns over the Taliban's interim government for not being inclusive and over some members in it. Do you think it's a good, good start for the Taliban's political future? Well, the political future of Taliban, I guess, is going to be pretty difficult for it's not an easy uh, way ahead for them, surely, because uh, a large part of the world, especially the Western world, uh, will continue to uh, indicate and show their uh, speculative uh, uh, appreciation, uh, if at all, of the of the Taliban uh, government. Uh, clearly, their first uh, effort will be to somehow derail the Taliban government and prove to the world that the Taliban are not worthy successors to the government that was there before the dislodging of it of, of the Ghani government. So I think that sort of uh, uh, approach by the Western countries will continue, where they will continue to show uh, or sus suspect the credentials of this of, of the Taliban. So I don't think it's going to be easy for them in terms of their political journey forward. All right, now we see a clear differences between the approach of the U.S., its Western allies, and China and Russia towards the Taliban. Do you see this complicating the situation in Afghanistan? Well, it's not going to be complicating, but like I said, I mean, the West have, was there for a long time. Uh, that is, the U.S. and the NATO were there for a long time, 20 years, and they fought a very long war and then decided to quit. And as they leave the area, and despite the fact that President Biden says that they no more have any uh, vital national interest in Afghanistan, I'm sure it's merely just exiting Afghanistan uh, with a, quite a bit of a question mark hanging on there, on, on, on the final consequences of the war, 20-year war, uh, will push them to the fact that they will not be taking uh, very pleasantly towards any uh, any any Taliban setup, which is going to which is there, of course, which has taken shape now. So uh, China and Russia, uh, which have always looked at the fact that the U.S. was uh, a foreign force in the region, it didn't belong to the region, and they had obviously come and occupied a sovereign country. So and it was a source of a lot of. Uh, um, uh, disturbance in the region. So I think that instability uh, seemingly has gone away. So China and Russia, we look at it from a positive point of view. The U.S. and its allies will continue to be very, very speculative about the fact and apprehensive about uh, the state of Afghanistan and, and the rule of Taliban. So this kind of uh, uh, impressions will uh, be competitive in nature, but whether they take a practical shape is yet to be seen. And I don't think it will be it, it, it will worsen down to a point where another proxy kind of engagement takes place between China, Russia, and on the other side, the U.S. and allies. So while, while the, while the uh, discomfort will be there, but I don't think it's going to, be, uh, it's, it's going to worsen down to the fact of uh, uh, an active proxy engagement. All right. Now, as much as 80 percent of Afghanistan's budget comes from the international community and the Taliban can hardly afford isolation given the economic crisis, how will the Taliban maintain a balance between their ideology and the expectations of the Western countries? Well, you know, I mean, obviously the Taliban have stated and they are keen to uh, go along with the rest of the world. Uh, so the, 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 the first priority is for to be to be acceptable to the world at large, and when that is their, their their priority and that is their concern as well, so I can imagine that they will surely modify their own uh, way of looking at uh, how uh, the constitution or the uh, way of life or the way of uh, dealing with the world will gradually emerge and evolve. So I I think there shall be a change in the way that the Taliban will conduct themselves. And there will need to be a change in the way that the world will look at them. Uh, you really can't impose an order of any kind, whether it's religious or any kind of thing, uh, from, or a Western perspective or a Western model of democracy. Democracy has many variations. So which ones uh, the Taliban or the Afghans tend to choose will be for them to decide. Uh, and it, anyway, it doesn't behoove of us, any one of us on the outside to try and impose a particular or a specific democratic model to the Afghan situation. Okay, thank you for joining in this news.